Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going into Goodwill. It's just been one of those days y'all and nothing barks us up like doing a little thrifting. So I'm gonna dip on off into my local Goodwill store that's near me and I'm just gonna see what they have. I think just being in Goodwill around thrifting is good therapy. So come along with me as we shop my local Goodwill. So we're going into Goodwill today just to look around. It is Monday, so it will be 75% off the color of the week. And I can already see through the window that the color of the week is purple. So let's see what they got today. Already got some carts right up front. All right, so a lot of the bins right up front are stuff that they just haven't gotten around to putting out yet. So I'm always looking in there first. Remember the color of the week is purple. So let's see what they have. Oh, there's a little orange luster bowl. So let's go on and get a buggy and start shopping. Okay, I take that back. They do not have any buggies, so we will just shop and there is gonna always be music so I am going to talk over it or I will voice over so here's a pretty cool piece can't tell it is flashed you can see the light but it also has a big chunk out of it so we will leave that there look at this darling little cosmetic bag this is so cute. It is a Vera Bradley. I've never seen one like this, but it was marked $12.99. It did have its original tags on it, but at $12.99, it was just a little bit more than I was willing to pay today. Now this would be super, super cute, but it does not have the L. Now if I could find the L, that would be cute. This is made in Japan but they don't have the L, oh no. Okay, so y'all know I'm doing a plate haul and I found a couple of really cute plates. This one looks to be hand painted and it's signed. Yellow rose plate, I guess it came from somebody's booth, but that's really cute. But I like this yellow one here, it's $2. Here is the Christmas section. I think these dishes were here last last time. I'm not sure though if that's them. I like this little piece that's in here. Hey y'all, look at this little cute red, white, and blue tin, and it is a purple tag, so it is 75% off of 99 cents, so it would be about 25 cents. And then I found this little tin. I thought it was interesting and really cute. Um, it looked like a picnic basket or a little lunch pail or something. I did open it up and I believe that it is a holly hobby. Yeah, it's a holly hobby, but inside it was really rusted. So I did leave that behind. So I originally picked this up and I was gonna get it, but it looks like it's been opened. So I am not gonna get it because I cannot tell if all the pieces are actually in there. I'm always picking these up when I find these. This one's a dollar, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. These are good finds. I am looking for an old, old lampshade that is kind of plastic so that I can do a craft on it, but I don't see one. Any other time, they have a ton of them. Y'all, I'm gonna need a little help with this. When I walked up to this, I was like, what in the world is this? Is it a planter? 
is it a lamp? I mean, it's over with the furniture. So of course I picked it up and it's a chicken, y'all. Apparently it makes some kind of noise, but I don't know what it is. If you do, leave it in the comments below. How y'all doing? Can I give you a hand? Y'all look how darling these are. That is a lot of work. And someone made all of these little bed jackets for baby girls and boys. That is too cute, y'all. I just loved all of those, too cute. Okay, y'all, I'm not finding too, too much in the store today. Thought I'd take a look over here at the linens and things, and then I spot yet another afghan. But look how pretty the colors are. It is an orange tag. I'm not sure how much it is going to be um, because they price it based on whether it's a blanket or a throw. So I'll have to check into it. I have absolutely no business getting this afghan, but it's so cute. Anyone else do that? or just me? Let me know in the comments. I just can't help it. I'm gonna blame Christine for this. Christine, you've created a monster. And y'all, I really like this. I think it's a Halloween pumpkin holder because the pumpkin would be the head. It's got a dangling spider. It was super cute. So, I found this chalkware piece, but look at all the damage. Oh my goodness. So cute. It's a little owl. Just way too much damage. This one is cute too. I love the colors of this one for my wall, but it's broken. I really like the colors. This is the colors that I Okay, like. y'all bring back the clear glass. Now this is, I think a little nut bowl or something, but this is the coin pattern. I believe this is the coin pattern. Um, y'all can let me know below if that's incorrect. I saw this. This is brass, I believe. But it's missing the little hanger. But look how pretty that is. The colors are amazing. Well, y'all, I didn't get very much in there. I don't know if you could tell, but it was super busy. For almost three o'clock on a Monday, it was really busy in there. A lot of people going through the clothes, just a lot of people in general. I only picked up three items today and I thought I'd go ahead and show you what I got because I have about 30 minutes while I still need to be on this side of town. And there's one more Goodwill I may be able to dip off into before my next appointment. So let me show you what I got today inside this. Okay, Goodwill. I'm totally blaming Christine from Side Street Market. She's the Afghan queen, but y'all, I got this beautiful Afghan and it's rather large. Love the spring, almost Easter colors in this. And um, I got it for a really good deal. Now it wasn't on sale, but she priced it as a throw versus a blanket. So this was a really good deal. I love the fringe that matches on the bottom. And I thought for spring or Easter, that would be beautiful. And it's still chilly in a lot of areas. So this should do a very the other item that I got. You saw me pick this up. I'm always going to pick these up. I have sold every single one that I have. Um, and I now have two of them. And this is one from Target back in the day. Um, but this one has, I think it's nine, maybe 10 hooks on there. So these always sell really well in my show and at my booth. So I picked that one up and this was my on sale item. I showed you this one. This one was 99 cents, but it was 75% off because it was the color of the week. And so, so I got this little red, white, and blue tin for only 25 cents. Well, that's all I got today at this particular store. Let's see if I can make it to the other store really quick. And maybe I'll find a few more things. So come on. Y'all suck it dead well for the day. And y'all, it is super windy. My hair is blowing all over the place. I can't even remember. It is purple this week. So we have 75% off of the color of the week, which is purple. So let's see what we can find. Right off the bat, I see some beautiful clear glass canisters. And y'all, their music was super, super loud in there today. So most of this shop along is gonna have to be a voiceover. Look how cute the lid of that little pumpkin cookie jar was. And this was absolutely beautiful, a marble, elephant trunk up i think the reason i didn't get it was that it was priced a little bit too high along with that little clear glass dog right there 
Now this was another piece of Halloween. I think it was from Pier One, super cute little mug. And this set, I was not able to figure out what the maker was or where it was from, but it was almost like a glazed pottery set. I did not see the creamer. I think that was the sugar there or maybe even a grease jar. I was trying for the life of me to find out where it was from, but I just could not find it. The Crusade to Save the Blue Bowed Geese. That reminds me of Nesting Hay. This one is pretty cool. That's a different Santa pattern on this platter. It was 2002 Island Heritage made in China. Y'all, I was drawn to the coloring in these glasses and just the shape. Um, they're very nice. I saw in the bottom, it says Polini Romero on the bottom. I do end up running comps on them in the store, and you see that I'm going to go right back and pick them up based on the comps and put them in the basket. So good find. And I actually picked this up, y'all, because I have the other piece to this set. So now I have a full set. And I went through and I was looking at this bowl. It is actually like a paper mache bowl. Thought that was very, very interesting. And then I did find another tin. It had more of a circus feel of it, but it was uh, more recent. And so I did leave that behind. Going down the aisle to like the tins and the kitchen pieces, I find this cute little vintage tin and it rattled. So I open it up and it is full of mini tart tins. So this is going to be a very short, quick in and out of this store because I have another an appointment. But it's so calm and so clean in here. So good job, Goodwill. Making my way through the pictures. I love that black and white picture. But I see this cross stitch and it looks like also maybe some cruel work in there because the teddy bear and the braids. But what a cute little picture and it was totally intact. Okay, I told you I was looking for some lamps or a lamp shade. All kinds of stuff going on back there. The ones that I want are the old style lamp shades that are almost brittle and plastic, but I do not see any of those here. So I guess I could keep looking. Making my way over here, I find some more of those plastic, I think they're from the 1970s, like wall hangings or sconces. I was looking for a date on these, but I could not find a date anywhere on there. This one was in really good shape. Now the other one that is its matching pair had some loose pieces in it. Um, this little candlestick was loose and there was another little loose piece right there. So I did end up leaving those behind. And this section is where all of their, like Christmas and Halloween, the off season, but you can see that you have all of the inventory on top of the clothes here at our Goodwills. And I think everywhere in the Houston area, this is the style of the store. But I do like to take a look through here because sometimes uh, you do find some really great off season um, Christmas items or Halloween items. I liked that, but I wasn't sure what it was. It was made of metal there. So we are just looking around and we find a Mardi Gras mask. And then I found some Halloween trays. Now, last time I was in this store, I found a bunch of new old stock Christmas trays, um, but I've never seen the Halloween trays. Now they weren't dated and some of them had a lot of scratches on them. So I do end up leaving those behind, but I sure wish they had been in better shape because I definitely would have picked those up. Okay, I actually find a bin of things that have not been put out yet, and I see this vintage wooden rolling pin for $1.99. Quickly put that in my buggy and go back to see what else is in the boxes. Okay, y'all, so that was a really quick trip into that Goodwill store. I have an appointment coming up, but I could spend about 30 minutes in there, and that's what I recommend. I recommend popping into your local thrift stores often, even for just a quick tour through the store and just give it all a look through and see if you find anything. So I thought I'd end today's video with the haul from the things that I did get in this store, because I did get a few things. So let's see what I got.
Okay, y'all, the first thing that I got is this beautiful little cross stitch. It's the Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep prayer. It does not have the glass in it, as you can see. But again, look at all of the details with the little teddy bear and her hair. I showed you this in the store when I was filming, but I absolutely loved that. So I did pick this up. Another thing that I got was this tin. Now this tin was $1.99 and I looked at it because the graphics were a little dated on it. Little tarts and things. And when I opened it up, y'all look at all of those tins in there. These would make great little miniature assemblages or little risers and things. So I have no idea how many of them are in here, but all different shapes and sizes. And I thought they were really, really neat. So I picked up the whole 10 set for just $2. All right, let's see. Oh yes, I remember her pick this one up. I have the, what I think is the large creamer. It looks like a coffee pot, but this I believe is the sugar. And what I, what somebody else said was that there was a large cream and sugar. So this would be the sugar. And then I have the large cream that is already at the shop. And y'all, I actually have had that for a really long time. And then when I comped it, realized that it was a two piece set. So this has just come in handy because now I have the complete set. So there was the receipt and it looks like I spent $9.51, so not bad. I didn't get anything that was the color of the week in this store. I got this large wooden vintage rolling pin and this is probably for my collection. I have um, one already. This one is a little bit bigger than my other one so I'll have to see how that's gonna look over there by that large glass canister that has all my cookie cutters in there. But it's very difficult to find one of these especially when they're not like 12 and $15. So I did pick this one up for only $2 to use in my home. Decor. I did pick up these glass glasses y'all because I've never seen them before and they're Polini Roma and I love the designs on them like I showed you when we were shopping together um, but then I comped them and I'll put the comps that I found for recently sold right below but they're just a little glass now this one looks like it has lemons and maybe some type of uh, almost looks like a Christmas cactus, but I'm sure it's not. Just another flower. Now let's see what the other one is. Okay, I've unwrapped the other one. This one also has lemons on it. It's a little bit different design. Still, it has the Polini Roma on the bottom in the make. And again, the comps were just there, so I picked them up. I bought these for 99 cents each, and you can see the comps. So if you're out thrifting, this could be a bolo item for you. I don't have to do a little bit more research and find out why they are so special, but apparently Currently, it is a bolo item for us. So that's all I got today, y'all, on my trip to two different Goodwills in my area. Thanks so much for shopping along with me. And if you enjoy this type of content where I take you shopping along with me as we thrift and find some really cool items, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you be part of my YouTube family. And you can do that simply by hitting that subscribe bell. And don't forget that notification bell. Make sure that is set to all so you will be the first to know when I upload a video or go live. Make sure that you're checking out our Instagram account at Sweet Treats and Pretties along with the community tab here on YouTube to see all of the fun and upcoming events that we're going to have on the channel. Thanks so much for watching y'all and until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.